Alright, I got All Pro Football 2K8 here. I just wanted to make a video uh, to reiterate all the points I've made prior, and I stumbled upon this almost too good example uh, of, you know, the game allowing the player to control what happens, animations not overwhelming the game, clogging the game, and players doing what they're supposed to do. I've made a huge deal about that uh, in prior videos, and this play is a, is a prime example of the players you pick or don't pick mattering in a game. This is a computer game, a uh, created team I have uh, of, of just legends playing against another team. You can see I've got a generic lineman going against, uh, you really can't tell right now, but that's Gino Marchetti. And I just want to show you uh, how this game emulates a, a play getting blown up. And, you know, anybody that sees this will understand that this is a game-changing uh, issue to deal with. So what we've got here, you can see everybody, the procedural awareness is there. When the ball gets snapped, everybody's been looking at the ball. Uh, and then you can see Marchetti comes off the line. And you can visually look down the line and see that he's got better position on his man, that he's lower on his man, that his man is more off balance further back than everybody else. He just overwhelms him and pushes him into the ground. This is how I expect to see a play get blown up in the real NFL. This is how I expect to see a play get blown up in this game and in Madden. And as I said, this dictates how I play. I know I can't run to the left side of this line because Marchetti's over there, and I run a chance of this happening. And that's going to kill the play. I mean, I don't want to see the lineman stand there while Marchetti runs around. I don't want to see the lineman run in a circle while Marchetti runs around. I don't want to see the lineman act like he misses an assignment when Marchetti's the only one in front of him. Uh, I want to see an animation like that. You know, Marchetti can blow up a play and not make a tackle and still be fine. I mean, that's what made many players who we consider the greatest of all time or Hall of Fame players so great is they impacted plays indirectly. You know, blowing up a play like this aligns a linebacker to come free and, and make a stop in the backfield. The star player doesn't always have to have the most significant impact tackling, sack, or tackling assist-wise to have the most impact in the play. So with that said, we're going to go back to the run. I've got Roger Craig here, one of the most underrated uh, running backs of all time. Uh, just made his second uh, semifinalist ballot for the Pro Football Hall of Fame. I wholeheartedly think he deserves to be in. And what you can see here is two linebackers blitz, and their positioning kind of gets them out of whack with my center. My fullback goes to pick the one up, but my, my fullback has to, you know, push down. And that means that I run right in the back of him, essentially. There's not a whole lot of room to navigate here. When I run in the back of him, though, my player doesn't stop running. I simply put my hand on him. I realize there's a little bit of clipping here. My hand goes through him. And I run off of him. But real quick, two points I want to bring up. Big play in the defensive line is a reach where uh, a lineman will reach to slow the progress of a halfback, fullback, whatever. You can see number 99 there attempts it. It doesn't work. He's not in position to make it happen. Position gets respected. Animation doesn't take over. Even though he's close enough to have it happen, it doesn't. Uh, number 55 Meyer comes in. And yeah, I realize there's a little clipping, but he's also a little late on that reach. And he kind of just clips through me a little bit. Again, I wouldn't be angry if, if he had clipped, you know, and I would have gotten tackled. But the fact that it didn't happen, again, a little bit more impressive to me that the game doesn't allow me to get overwhelmed by animations and gives me ultimate control. So now, switch up here, take a look at my uh, wide receiver coming in. You can see he doesn't get a real good block on his safety the safety. You can see he gets him at the last second. Roger Craig's going to do a shoulder charge. You see number 24 and number 36 both come in at the same angle. In my mind, there's no doubt in Madden Pro Tax starts, if not well before, absolutely right now. Number 55, number 54, they get sucked in. Number 24 and number 36 both get sucked in. Number 50 probably blows that guy out of the water and gets sucked in. The play's over. However, in this game, like I said, user control is paramount. User control should always be paramount. You see Roger Craig puts the shoulder down, blows through the guy, 
and in the process of doing so, because these guys chose to take such similar paths to the ball carrier, I blow him out of the play too, even though he doesn't fall down, he just gets pushed back. The fact of the matter is he gets pushed back, I'm running forward. So position matters more than anything else. I start running, but again, I don't have all my strength, don't have all my speed. Here comes another shoulder charge. You can see, however, this one not nearly effective as the first because I've just fought off that other one. I also wanted to bring up how seamless the transition is to cover this ball up once I get in traffic. Come down. I don't blow this guy totally off. He kind of just slides down, grabs a hold of my feet, and eventually brings me down, but I'm already in the end zone. So, just wanted to do this one time from the top view and just show you just how cluttered and again, at the 10-yard line, you're going to have a lot of people trying to impact the play, both offensively and defensively. Very cluttered play, but the animations don't overrun the game. User control means more than anything else. Player position means more than anything else. And I determine the outcome of the play. We'll do this one time at speed from behind, and then one time at speed from in front. And then, as I said... Hopefully this reiterates a lot of the points I made about Madden, and uh, as soon as the patch comes out, I will continue to make videos on Madden NFL 10.